Hey there, welcome to the Science Hutch. I'm Hutch and today's science is a little uh, teaching activity we're gonna do. Um, it is Valentine's season here and we're gonna look at doing a fun little activity. We've got some little felt mailboxes I got from the Target dollar bins. And I've got eight of them and I'd set them around at uh, eight locations around my classroom on our lab benches. And then in first period, I'd have my kids make one of these little books. You make one of these little six page books and they would actually design the front cover. We're learning about free body diagrams. And then they'll number the pages. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And back cover and they could put their name on there if they want to. And then on the first page, they're gonna leave a little physics gram for the second period class. So they'll draw an object on here and free body diagrams are drawings of forces on free bodies, objects that are free to move if acted on by an outside external force. So they draw an object and then the next period class would come in and they'd have to actually draw the forces on that object. They draw a free body diagram for that object. Then on page two, since they're second period, they would draw an object here and leave it for third period, who would then basically answer that and draw a drawing for fourth period, who would answer that and draw a drawing for fifth period, who would answer that. And then fifth period's drawing would be left for first period to answer the next morning. Little physics grams, they put them in their mailboxes when they're ready or when they're done. You can do it as an exit ticket and kind of a warm up to look at the one from last period and then an exit ticket to leave for the next period. And it worked out pretty well. They, the kids came in, they're like, what are these little mailboxes? And they, they liked it. Now, here's how to make the book, in case you want to make the book. Start with a piece of paper, you turn it, I guess, long ways, and then you'll fold it hot dog style. And then you fold that in half. You fold it in half again. Now this is the same size as your book, but it's not a book yet. What you need to do is you gotta open it up. Now you've made eight squares. These are gonna form the covers and pages of your book. To turn them into a book, you're gonna fold this hamburger style, like that. Then you're gonna take some scissors and you're going to cut from the folded side, mm -hmm. just to the middle there, so like so. Boop. Stop. Ta da! Now you got a little mouth. Hey, how's it going? Time for a book. This is done. It's just got to be folded right. You fold it hot dog style, and then you're gonna. Push this together like so, and you see how it makes it into a plus. And then you just let that plus fold over in the easiest way possible, and it's a book. Cover, page one, two, three, four, five, six. Back cover, bada bing, bada bang, bada boom. Fun and educational. Again, the magic moment there. You got your eight squares, you got your mouth, mop, 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 and then you're gonna fold it. You're gonna accordion it close to a plus, fold that over, and it's a book. Oh yeah. Hey, even these foldables are useful in high school. High schoolers still love stickers. You walk around while they're making their book, and if they do a nice job and do what you told them to do, give them a little sticker to decorate the cover, they really get into that. And then you get all these fun little drawings on the inside when they're all done. And it's fun to walk around and just kind of like fact check their free body diagrams and tell them, oh, switch that one over like that. And you'll get examples that you never even, uh, you never even expected. So it's pretty fun to see. All right, thanks for watching. I'm Hutch, this was the science, you're the physicist, keep on physicsing.